Next, we'll review Hodgkin's disease, also called Hodgkin's lymphoma, a malignant growth of cells that affects the lymphatic system. Hodgkin's typically metastasizes to the spleen, liver, bone marrow, mediastinum, and lungs. The disease is characterized by the presence of a type of cell specific to Hodgkin's disease called Reed-Sternberg cells, and variations on this type of cell in the cancerous area. There is evidence that the cancerous cells are of B-cell lymphocyte origin. The Epstein-Barr virus also appears to be a factor, at least in some cases. Interleukin-13, a natural cytokine in the body, seems to be overproduced by the cancerous cells of this disease. While these factors contribute in some way, the cause of Hodgkin's disease is still being researched. Hodgkin's disease is rare in children under 5 years of age. In children under 10 years of age, it is more common in boys than in girls. Treatment approaches have improved remarkably in the recent years, and this disease now has a high survival rate. What are the signs and symptoms? The first sign of Hodgkin's disease is usually a painless swelling of one gland or a group of lymph glands, lasting for several weeks. The first glands to be affected are those in the neck, most often on one side only, and a small area above the collarbone. In some cases, enlarged glands can be felt in the axilla or the groin. Enlargement of the glands in the chest can cause a troublesome cough or dyspnea. Some children with Hodgkin's disease have a high fever, puritis, or weight loss. Other signs and symptoms include anorexia, malaise, and night sweats. Diagnosis begins with a complete history and physical and includes a CBC with differential and erythrocyte sedimentation rate to rule out infection of the lymph nodes. Part or all of a swollen lymph gland may be removed for biopsy to detect Reed-Sternberg cells. Further tests such as x-rays, CAT scans, MRI, and lephangiography are done to establish the extent of the disease. This is called staging. If a blood test suggests that the bone marrow is affected by the cancer, a bone marrow sample may be taken. Medical treatment involves chemotherapy, sometimes with radiotherapy, and after treatment with chemotherapy, some children, particularly boys, are later infertile. Parents of teenage boys should be aware of the option of sperm banking. In this situation, sperm can be stored for possible use in later years. The parents should be encouraged to discuss the implications of treatment, such as common side effects and the possibility of future fertility problems with the child's physician. There is also a small risk of developing a different cancer later in life as a result of treatment for Hodgkin's disease. Long-term survival for Hodgkin's disease is in all stages excellent. Your nursing care focuses on preparing the child for diagnostic and surgical procedures, teaching the child and family about the expected side effects of treatment, and child and family support. As the disease most often affects adolescents and young adults, be aware of the developmental and psychological needs related to this stage of life. You might also administer chemotherapy agents and help manage radiation and chemotherapy side effects and complications. The child may require sedation during radiation. Vomiting can be alleviated by antiemetics and diet. Pain management is an important concern and you can intervene with non-pharmacological techniques such as relaxation or imagery along with analgesics as prescribed. Other nursing care concerns include fluid and electrolyte balance, nutrition status and support, skin integrity, especially oral care, promotion of regular elimination, and protection against infection. The most common long-term side effect of treatment is a debilitating fatigue that can persist for as long as a year after treatment. What would your teaching for care at home include? Teaching about danger signs related to infection, skin breakdown, and nutritional deficiency. Administration of medications, the correct dose, time, route, and adverse effects. Include nutritional support, the use of any vascular access device or feeding tubes, community resources supporting families with children who have cancer, and referrals for nursing, nutritional, and pharmacological support at home. The family unit will need support and calm reassurance. After treatment is completed, the child will be reviewed regularly with scans and blood tests in the hospital. About 9 out of every 10 children who develop Hodgkin's disease are completely cured.